Do you know how Joe Rogan got famous? Do you actually know how Joe Rogan got famous? Do you actually know how Joe Rogan got famous? Do you actually know how Joe Rogan got famous? Oh, wait, do you actually know how Joe Rogan got famous? Do you actually know how Joe Rogan got famous? So that was an actual deep fake uh, that I created after it, like within the first 24 hours of playing around with it. Uh, and the the video that I used in this case, and this deep face lab is basically the, uh, it's the key to everything. Uh, the video that I had, the original one as shown is basically this one. So no sound, just my typical face, etc. cetera. Uh, my fucked up table, which I definitely need to change, but whatever. And uh, the other thing that I also had was basically uh, data.source. And this was the source file from which we took Joe Rogan's face, uh, cut out his face into frames, right? And then took my face and trained a model to basically create iterations. I'm not even sure if I'm explaining it properly, but to test iterations of my face versus his and to pair up the best ones. Because uh, that's essentially what happens, at least from my understanding. And uh, this is all made possible right uh primarily because of this github page right here so it's i'll post a link in the description github.com dash iperov dash uh face lab and what this is is basically it's a full uh repository right of everything deep fake related now this guy has deep face lab and then he has deep face live as well deep face lab is for quote unquote post creating uh deep fakes and then deep face live um is i think i posted a whatsapp status with it i'll try and grab it and post it somewhere here or there deep face live is basically uh, a live stream with deep face so like it's it's coming to a point where it's pretty advanced now but the thing is there's a really big requirement you need a really good graphics card like even with a gtx 1650 like i'm i'm, I'm barely making it through right but if you have like a rtx 3000 series like with uh, vram right so video ram uh you're able to do a lot and it all depends upon how much video ram you have basically so the more you have the better this is like one of the 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 key things uh in everything machine learning related it's video ram but the um, uh this is the main page right uh if you want to download it you gotta head over to the mega.nz uh folder right here which i'll post somewhere in the description below um, and from here, you're able to basically download the right build for you. So if you don't have an NVIDIA card, as far as I know, it's the DirectX 12 one. If you have an NVIDIA up to RTX 2080, uh, then it's this one. And then if it's RTX 3000 series, it's this one. And that's the best series that you could basically have for uh, DeepFace. I'm seriously considering buying one because the potential of DeepFace is crazy. And if you look at... Uh, the page right here, you can actually see some of the 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 channels and the deep fake channels that exist, right? So this one, you might have seen him on TikTok. I've seen him already. Um, this is basically just deep fake Tom Cruise, right? And it's pretty realistic. Like he has him. Let's mute this. You can see his faces and flickering, right? And if you compare it to the one that I made, uh, you can you can see that this is done like quite professionally with. Uh, X number of iterations, and I'll explain the iterations later on, uh, but but this is for sure, I think 250,000 plus iterations, and that's the training model itself. My one, uh, the one that I did previously, again, somewhere here or there, that's with 10,000 iterations. That's two hours of processing. Um, if I did, let's say, I think four hours would have been 20, and you need a minimum of 25,000 iterations to have your deep fake look at least partially realistic, and the... Um, the guy that I have right here, uh, how many iterations does a realistic deepfake image need? And the iterations as part of the training model, which again, I'll explain a little bit later on. Um, but it basically describes it here. So 3000 iterations, right? That's something like this, which is pretty fucked up, right? It's like my one, like not too good, not too bad. Um, actually, yeah, pretty bad. You can't say not too bad, not too good either 3000 iterations which this takes maybe on a gtx 1650 uh, it could take like i think 10 minutes to produce uh basically or yeah 10 to 20 to 30 minutes then 25,000 iterations that's gonna take like approximately four to five hours right um i'm not sure if you posted a i'm not sure if you posted a uh, a version of that somewhere here but it's not only the iterations that come into play, it's also the merging as well, which I'll explain right now. The merging is like one of the most important uh, parts out there. 
which I don't think I can open because I cleared the workspace. But if you're looking for a tutorial, a proper tutorial for the easy deep fakes, I'll post it somewhere here. And I would have posted it myself, but the thing is, I can't post, uh, I can't screen share and also uh, max out my GPU at 100% because it's just, it's not so strong. Uh, so I can't screen share and post the tutorial at the same time. So you use one of the existing ones, but the iterations is one of the most important things. So with 150,000 iterations, which would take you a couple of days on a GTX 1650, maybe a week um, of constant full throttle running. Stephanie, you're not a very This is what we have. Stephanie, as far as I know, she's real. And then this is the iteration. The the thing with this video is the the the, the faces that he's trying to combine. That's number one. And then the merge as well. You could tell the the color difference right on the side. It's not blurred and it's not changed. So and the face is moving a lot. So it's pretty hard to do here. And that's one of the key things, right? It's the after effects that you're able to apply. And then it's also the uh the 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 blurring right and making sure that the coloring is like perfect and it's on set another thing is um you can improve the quality of a deep fake by not trying to go too crazy with what you're trying to deep fake quote unquote so uh, if you have a guy that looks like joe rogan and then you're trying to make him look like michael jackson it's pretty hard right because the the facial structure and the facial differences are like pretty high but if you have uh, let's say Joe Rogan, and then you're trying to deepfake him as Vin Diesel, right? That's a pretty easy deepfake to do because the, the 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 facial structure and everything it's pretty the same, so the differences aren't too high. So you need to keep that in mind whenever you're feeding uh, content into, and I'll showcase the interface right now into the destination file and the source file, and then 250,000 iterations, right? This is the uh, fake Tom Cruise that I think we no, it's a different one. So this is him, and even this one, like it doesn't look too good. Uh, the, the, the best iteration of Tom Cruise that I have is this one on TikTok. So here's another one. Like this is just, it's way too good. And the hair is perfect and um, like it looks really, really real. Even on the side, there's no flickering, none of that. And this is like one of the biggest uh, giveaways with regards to uh, deep fakes, whether they're real or not. So like if the face starts flickering, uh, then you know it's a screw up. Um, but the... Once you download it and once you install it, and there's a forum here as well, and they have a Telegram channel, I'll post everything in the description below. But once you do that, uh, you basically come to the quote unquote UI of the uh, of Deepface Labs. And this is uh, the control panel, quote unquote, of whatever Deepface you're ever going to produce, right? You have the workspace, and then you have the step-by-step uh, -step executables. So these are just different files, folders. Uh, that you set up and that you run. Key thing is, and this is like the, the main thing, whenever you're running any deep fake or whenever you want to create one, you have the data underscore DST file and the data underscore source file. Um, the data DST destination is where you want the deep fake to be applied to. And then the source is where you want the deep fake to be taken from. So in this case, it's my face and then Joe Rogan's face. And I want Joe Rogan's face to be applied on mine. Uh, once you've basically uh, come to a conclusion with regards to what you want to work with, right? Uh, you can then start following the step-by-step -step executables that you have right here, right? So first one is clear workspace, just in case you've done any alterations before. And then the other ones, right? You have uh, face set extract. That's where it takes your face from different elements. But the most important one is basically the train one, right? So training, uh, in this case, I was using Quick96 because again, as per the tutorial, which I pasted somewhere up, uh, this basically starts to train a model, right? That compares your face to Joe Rogan's face, finds the best iterations and then applies them to a video, which again, just creates the video of me talking like Joe Rogan. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'm definitely not an expert or like a, a, a pro on this yet, but um, there's a lot that you can do. And just from a content marketing perspective as well, like I mentioned, like this this page with uh, deep fake Tom Cruise, 3.3 million followers. Then there's another one with Putin. So one face Russia right here, uh, 9.8 million followers. And it's basically just a, a deep fake of Putin. Not the best one. So you can actually see that this one is it's pretty thunderous. Uh, you can actually see that this one isn't uh, too good, right? It's still good, and it's still getting like a lot of traction. But you could see that the iterations here still have like uh, a bit of a way to go. This one is a double, right? So they've applied what's his name? I keep forgetting his name, and Putin as well. 
you can see that the eye movement sucks a bit, right? But it's still okay. So the eye movement basically gives it away. And then you also have this one as well. Still, you could tell that it's fake, right? It looks good, but you could tell that it's fake. And the the biggest giveaway is basically the the voice as well. So if you do go ahead and start to create like deep fake content, right? The voice needs to be like perfect. So if I was actually gonna do this, I would only do um, I don't even know who I sound like. So the 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 voice has to be up to par as well. Deep fake Tom Cruise, he actually has the voice, so it's super realistic. Breaking news, but a little behind the scenes, a little a little flavor. Like that's actually a pretty good impression of Tom Cruise. Uh, so you need to keep that in mind as well. But yeah, uh, I'll post all the links in the description and the guide as well. And uh, enjoy it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys on the next one.